heels of the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle character posters that came out yesterday, a brand new trailer has emerged for the Heroes in a Half Shell, and it's really hard for me to read this without singing the song. <laughs> the new Turtles movie hits AMC theaters sure. on August 8th. John Byer, sell this new Turtles trailer. All right, hold on to your breath here for a second. Because uh, I know you guys talked about the character posters yesterday, touched, touched on the trailer mm -hmm. a, a little bit. I thought we'd talk about the trailer more in depth here. Look, it is, everybody knows my apprehension about this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. I've had it from the beginning. I still do have my apprehension about it. But I gotta say, in all honesty, I know it's not cool to say anything positive about this movie, but I, I gotta be honest. I liked the first trailer I saw. I like the character designs. And I just saw this new trailer. I really like it. I'm not, I'm not saying I loved it as much as the Fury trailer or anything like that, but I watched this trailer and really liked it. And I, there's a moment in this trailer that made me laugh that I had to pause the trailer for a second to get over laughing because everybody knows the big thing about a year and a half ago when it was announced that Michael Bay was going to be producing. And once again, everybody, please get this through your heads. Michael Bay is not directing the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. He is producing it. But when the word came out that the direction they were going to go was that the turtles were aliens. And he, he went on, he gave this big statement about they're gonna be aliens from another world, blah, blah, blah. And everybody, the backlash was harsh and violent and rightfully so. So then everything goes on hiatus. Oh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles been pushed back, blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden they're back and now they're no longer aliens. And in this trailer, they did the best thing they could have possibly done. There's that line in the trailer yeah. where Megan Fox, and I think it's Whoopi Goldberg says, so they're aliens? And Megan Fox is like, no, that would be stupid. I loved that. Yeah. I thought that was a great kind of wink and jab at itself. Mm -hmm. I, I really like the design. They give us a little bit of the plot. It looks like David Fichter is not Shredder. It looks like whoever that tall, bald dude in the shadows is, that at, that's actually Shredder. That's pretty cool. I think that's going to make a lot of people who have been nervous about the idea of, of Fichtner playing Shredder feel a little bit happy. I got to tell you, I'm not jumping up and down about the trailer, but I... I thought it was good. Let's see what happens. Anyway, Alicia. I think you know what I'm going to say. I think I know what you're going to say. <laughs> I know, I know. I have a nostalgic love for the turtles and it probably clouds my judgment. I'm also probably not the right person for this movie. I did like the aliens moment. I thought that was clever. But I sell this trailer because it is loud and it is noisy. There's so much going on. I hate that horrible dubstep kids music these days, get off my lawn, <laughs> feel really old, but I just don't like the way the turtles look, I don't understand who it's marketed to, and uh, yeah, I'm not on board with this at all. What about you, Christian? I sell the trailer, but not for Alicia's reasons. I sell the trailer because I've just seen the whole movie. Yeah, they sh there's nothing, bits. there is absolutely but we don't. You don't know that. I, I'm telling you, from what they've shown <laughs> in this trailer, I know what, uh, what I know the direction so far we're going with Splinter, what happens to him, they show the end. <coughs> then there's that shot with, it's like, if this, what I will say about this trailer, if this was the movie you got in 1990 when the original came out, which I love, love, I love it. If this trailer came out in 1990, people would be going crazy. It's just because they're comparing it. People would love this trailer. No, there wouldn't be a lot of hate for it. This is the first Turtles movie you ever saw. Vanilla Ice and not Dubstep, I'd be on board. <laughs> but that's, that's the nostalgia <laughs> talking. Because, like, again, as a trailer overall, I thought it was a really good trailer for what this is. But there was so much in there. I'm like, oh, okay, well, that moment's going to happen. That beat's going to happen. Oh, we're going there. And I feel like there was, there was too long, and I knew I know way too much about it. So that's why I'm selling it. The trailer overall, they had a lot of good stuff in there. Shep? I'm gonna buy the trailer. Like I said yesterday, I, I, I'm not a giant Turtles fan. Like I remember buying the comic book because it was based off of Daredevil. And I was like, oh, they're ripping on Frank Miller and it's a cool parody with stupid turtles. Then it became a giant hit and I wasn't into it. Because I was like, I want serious comic books. I don't need this parody stuff. Yeah. And that's how I was. I didn't watch the, I remember watching one of the movies and I was like, yeah, it was fun. They eat pizza, mm. don't care. I mean, seriously, I was like, I was happy that my friends liked Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I was never a fan of it. And I didn't watch the cartoon. So I don't have any of that nostalgia, none of it. But that being said, I said a little bit of that yesterday. I think I love this. I love this. the turtles' <laughs> designs look cool. I don't care that they have nostrils. They have real <laughs> weapons. If a turtle was actually going to talk and w walk around with weapons, this is kind of what it would look like to me. Not all soft and smushy right. and like a Muppet. Yeah. And I think Shredder looks great. I think all, you know, I don't care how many knives he has and weapons. You'd need that if you're fighting four Ninja Turtles. So <laughs> yeah. all the sequences, and there was like humor in there that I liked. The action sequences look great. I, I couldn't tell what was going to be the beginning or end, only that uh, they probably finish fighting with Shredder. I'm sure that's probably the end. Really? Which, yeah. See, my, my challenge to you about, about your, your, your thought on the trailer was, yeah. it was this. I think 
there was more given about plot, direction, everything in the Fury trailer than there was in this trailer. Really? Like in Fury, we know, okay, this introduces all the characters, what's going on, now we understand the main plot definition. So they have a bunch of victories, but now, okay, now there's this new mission, yeah. we got 300 German soldiers against coming down five. the yeah. You guy goes yeah. in, and now it's us against five. Clearly their tank breaks down at some point, but right, but it's just, that's just giving us the shell of the movie. Mm -hmm. A shell, yeah. get it? Oh, <laughs> it's just giving us the shell of the movie. In this we saw, okay, there are these turtles, obviously tra trained by this uh, rat under a rock, yeah. mm -hmm. and at some point, a couple of the brothers get kidnapped, and the others got to go on a rescue mission. But I think if you go yeah, through the trailer right. frame by frame, you'll probably oh, I, I, I think you're making a lot yeah, of assumptions. Me, you pessimist, no, 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 to go back to, the, to your thing as far as Fury goes, that movie is going to be based on the characters, the performance. You're really going to get the emotional attachment like you did in Save a Private Ryan with the crew. This is not that kind of movie. This movie is going to be all about the action. By the way, Save a Private Ryan was not that good. You I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm joking. I nailed it. You want, me to, you want me to quit the show? Oh, yeah. The just look on your face. I was, I was horrified. Yeah. That's like, yeah, that's like you Deer in the headlights. You might as well just said, I love Jar Jar Binks. Uh, uh, best character in Phantom Menace. Of all Star Wars. Of all anyway, so I just, I just felt, to me, I felt like I know what I'm going to get and that I know why their mission is going to happen and clear, clear plot points that I didn't need to see in that trailer. Can okay. I say that? I will go and see this movie with an open mind. Me too. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's I, key, right? I think everyone should see it with open yeah. mind. Even yes. Teenage Mutant Ninja fans. Yeah. Like, they could be the best of all the Turtle movies. All Let's movies see. should be seen with open mind. Even like, look, I'm not a Transformers fan. I'm going to see it very soon. I'm going in with an open mind. Mm. I, I think it's going to stink, but if it's great, I will, <laughs> I will go out going, it was great. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC movie talk show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.